Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest developments happening in the defense sector. Diario is all set to add another feather to its cap. It is geared up to test the Nurbay subsonic cruise missiles. As per sources, the Indian government has issued a notice to Airman, NOTAM, for the launch of an experimental flight vehicle in the Bay of Bengal for the period from 23 to the 25th of August 2021. This information came to public domain via Twitter user Diatis. The Nurbay missile which is planned for testing, will be fitted with the indigenous small turbofan engine, SDFE, capable of generating thrust of up to 450 kg force. The Nurbay missile is currently powered by the Russian Saturn 50MT turbofan engine. Last year, DRDO had carried out the maiden trial of Nurbay supersonic cruise missile with the small turbofan engine, SDFE but decided to abort it after few minutes due technical snag at the booster stage. Defense scientists in India said the test failed within 8 minutes of the launch due to technical issues in the engine. Now, let's have a brief look at the Nurbay missile, its features and importance for Indian Army. Nurbay, an intermediate-range subsonic land-attack cruise missile with terrain hugging, is an Indian version of the American Tomahawk and the Russian Club SSN-27 cruise missiles. It is a long-range, all-weather, subsonic cruise missile designed and developed in India by DRDO. The missile can be launched from multiple platforms and is capable of carrying conventional and nuclear warheads. It is currently deployed in limited numbers in Lak during standoff with China. The missile is claimed to have sea skimming and loitering capability, that is, it can go round a target and perform several maneuvers and then re-engage it. It is also able to pick out a target and attack, among multiple targets. With two side wings, the missile is capable of flying at different altitudes ranging from 100 meters to 4 kilometers above the ground and can also fly at low altitudes as low as level of a tree. This is to evade the detection by enemy radar. It will eventually supplement the role played by BrahMos missile for the Indian arm forced by delivering warheads farther than the 450 kilometers range of BrahMos. Nurbay missile is capable of deep penetration strike into the adversary territory to strike high value targets with precision. The missile has both terrain hugging and sea skimming capability that helps it avoid detection and countermeasures. Weighing 1500 kilograms with a height of 6 meters and a speed of Mach 0.7 Mach, the missile can carry up to 300 kilograms of conventional and nuclear warheads. It has an operational range of 1,500 km. The solid rocket booster missile has a single shot kill ratio of more than 90%. Talking about its engine, it has two stage engine. During stage 1, solid fueled, solid rocket booster is used. In the second stage, liquid fueled turbofan or turbojet are used. It is equipped with a domestically made ring laser gyroscope inertial navigation system, a GPS enabled guidance system and a Russian seeker system. Nurbay missiles are mounted on a Tata 12x12 high mobility vehicle transport truck which provides a better mobility. Last year in July, the Ministry of Defense's procurement body moved to purchase about 300 Nurbay cruise missiles for the three armed forces. The weapon is manufactured by the state-owned firm Brad Dynamics Limited, and each Nurbay missile system will cost about $1.5 million. At the LAC, the PLA's Western Theatre Command has deployed standoff weapons up to 2,000 km range and long-range surface-to-air missiles in Tibet and Xinjiang after the Ladakh standoff started in May last year. The Chinese deployment is not limited to occupied Aksai Chin but is located in depth positions from Kashgar, Hutan, Lhasa and Nyingchi along the 3,488 km line of actual control. LAC. The Nurbay cruise missile with a range over 1,500 km will provide deterrence capability to Indian armed forces against Chinese deployment at Lak. 
This was today's update. Please let us know your view and opinion regarding the same. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. We will be soon back with more exciting development happening in the defense sector.